healing, and uber. Two things that make medic a game-changing class. Without a medic on your team, you practically lose the game. Uber is really powerful, and healing keeps you pushing and keeps you alive. Without any of it, the games become hard to win, as you don't have any sustain to save you, and you have no counter to sentries and other medics. Before I continue, I like to mention that, like Heavy and NG, I don't play Medic, but I understand how this class works in a grander scale, and rather than going over the class fighting styles like I usually do, or what makes them good, I think I can actually explain how this class can just re be really effective just by existing. Medic's healing is extremely effective since it can make a life or death situation in a fight. As a TF2 player, I've taught myself counting damage, but with a medic, you can throw that all out the window since healing and overhealing, it gets hard to know how much damage you need and if you can switch to a secondary to finish them off. Just in general, healing is really effective since in a team fight, just having any form of sustain can really make you win a team fight, but sometimes one medic with a crusader's crossbow is not enough since the medic has 11 other people to heal so besides in Sixer, sixers and highlander one is good but in casual if you really want to win having two medics is even better more healing output to the multiple amount of people and so theoretically having more medics is better but you also have to sacrifice damage for sustain and there are common one-shot methods that will completely ruin the medic such as sniper and or crits and that's why we have uber Uber is most likely the strongest thing in, thing in the game, because you can create an effect only your class has that applies to another person you are healing, sharing the effect. And since you're the only class that can create an Uber properly, you can essentially make proper pushes and win games. Default Uber is amazing since it provides invulnerability, making you take no damage. This allows you to say screw you to the enemy team and screw you to the one shot methods that could pretty much run over any team. But by the time your invincibility ends, there's a downside. Your team might be dead, because because of the invulnerability, people are going to ignore you and go for anyone else. Other methods such as sticky stacking and air blasting and sentry surfing are very good counters to Uber. Then there's the other side of the Uber, crits, or crit the, from the crit craig. It is a very powerful weapon since, one, it's another one-shot mechanic that if you apply to a demo or soldier, you can one-shot anyone. But you might be thinking, okay, then Uber beats crits then. No. Like I said, your team might get swept, so Uber, no. But crits is still really strong because you can, if played right, it can sweep the other team. With the right class, you can sweep the other team. You can make a really strong push, allowing your team to essentially make space for you. Either way, an Uber is very strong and it can allow to make a lot of space for your team to push the cart and to take space. Even other metaguns like Vaccinated or the Quick Fix are really strong since they can counter with the resistance or a boosted heal rate to keep your team alive. Crusader's Crossbow and Uber Saw are two important and vital weapons for a supportive medic. A good Crusader's Crossbow can keep a teammate alive during a team fight or 1v1 situation. One shot can genuinely keep teammates from dying and can turn around a fight. Uber Saw is amazing since it generates 25% of your Uber, which is really broken. Four hits and you have Uber again. That's why a medic on medic uber chain is really broken and then a really amazing strategy because you just have two invulnerable dudes running around stabbing people giving a lot and lot of space doing a lot a lot of damage because melees are just broken in general and then there's battle medic um a good battle medic knows what they're doing i don't play battle medic but a, good, a switch from the Crusaders to the Bloodsaugger 
allowing for sustain and damage is really good. Like I said, I don't personally play Medic, so I don't even play Battle Medic, but something like the Overdose would be good for speed. Default Uber is sort of a staple since you can use it to keep you invincible for a good amount of time and running around trying to do damage. And Uber Saw is good for all of that Uber buildup that you could use for your Uber. Overall, Medic is a really strong class due to having good sustain and a strong shareable effect that can help the team take control to win fights and win games. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know this video took a while, but I got caught up in a lot of other things and procrastination and got caught up in a lot of other things. I just had a lot of other things to do, and so pretty much, you know, I, t I took a pretty long time to start actually uh, recording the script, but um, I after this video is done, I will start working on another video, so please be patient. I Like I said a while ago, I am in college, so I am doing my assignments, I am doing other things, so I mean, hey, if you really want to support me, show some show some love in the comments, I guess. I don't know. I'd rather have you say why I suck at medic and other things, but at the same time, let me know what you think of what I said. I actually want to know. I'm not a medic player. And if you want to watch my other videos and tell me why I'm wrong about those, I'd love to look and listen. If you've sent me a comment and I haven't responded to it, that's because I just read it and I was like, I don't really know how to respond to it. So, so I don't know, maybe ask me a question, I don't know. Anyways, you know, if you also want to see more of these videos, you know, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, hit the like button. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching.